Good morning, uh, afternoon, evening, wherever you're at here. Uh, thanks for joining me today for an August energy update in lieu of doing the 50 questions Friday today. Um, not exactly sure what we're doing here today, but there are just a few things I would love to share um, that have come up. So anyway, um, if you would join me, we're going to go into the heart space this morning and we are going to create a container here uh, space for all of us to do some hopefully phenomenal work here today. So um, just putting your attention to your physical heart. And we see that as the seat of the soul. And as you notice, my voice changed. So you can go into the heart space as simple and easy as that. Well, let's walk through the three breaths. So closing your eyes, if you wish, putting your attention onto your physical heart. Imagining connecting heart to heart with the earth and breathing in that unconditional healing, loving, supporting energy of the earth up through the feet and into the heart where your light and the light of Gaia mix together because she is here in support. Next, we connect to source, soul, creator, God, you as central sun creator, however you see and say this higher power, which is truly you. Breathing in that light and supporting energy into the heart Mixing that energy with you and with Gaia, we take that third breath. We breathe in that energy of both of earth and of creation, and it just flows through you. Earth, sky, and you, you are the Trinity. So that is where we move into that sacred space of the heart. And Again, we're going to create that container of space, which we do every time here when we come together. Um, and thank you all for being here. Um, if you're here live, um, we have people on chat that come in and um, from all over the world. And if you're watching on YouTube, uh, you're welcome to join us by uh, going to Twisted Sage and signing up in the newsletter. But um, anyway, so let's see. I did an energetic update here a little while ago. Um, did a blog on the website and social media, and it was about the the energies that that Brenda and I were both feeling. My sister Brenda, um, she was getting that she had all those cords, you know, energetic cords that come in, but these ones were different. Um, it's like the cords came from everywhere that we exist as a soul so all of our soul incarnations um it's like right now is such a huge time on this planet that we are basically bringing everything that we are as a soul incarnate throughout this entire universe into the here now right now because the human is this transformer of experience into wisdom light your soul grows brighter stronger, wiser, well, you know, stronger, wiser, um, because it is a, it is basically distilling the light and information out of all experiences, bringing that as in as wisdom and light. So with this new experience that we're having right now of just amassing our light, amassing our consciousness, because I see this as consciousness, um, our own consciousness, as we bring in more of this wisdom and light, soul, consciousness, however you can see and say all of that. Um, but it truly is amassing your light. So that's one of the things that we want to do today is to stop and be in that space and invite in your light, your wisdom, your soul more fully in so that we can do this work. And it's not a doing, it's simply, you know, 
everybody's probably tired of the term allowing, but it's it's just a softening of your field. You know, the, the human makes the choice, the intention of bringing in your light in its fullest expression that you can handle within the physical body. Because that's right, we're bringing it into the physical, into the here now. So we're going to go through a quick meditation, hold the space to bring you fully in. All right, so again, closing your eyes if you wish. And just knowing that you are so supported and you are in such a safe, sacred space. So again, just taking that deep breath in. And you're just breathing in your light, the light of the earth, because it comes in as support. The light of the earth, when it comes in, she is helping to alchemize any of those dense energies that we still hold. So when you go out and you hug a tree or you lay on the ground, Gaia is there and she will just absorb, she'll transmute, she'll transform a lot of those energies for you. So within this space, um, we're grounded, connected. Now let's bring everything into the here now moment. So as we stand in our light and in power, we're just simply having the intention of bringing in all that you are. So your intention is there. Then you just simply soften your field and allow your light to come in. You don't have to do a thing, but just soften your field. And if you feel that coming in, the tingles, uh, just that flow, that is your light, your consciousness, your soul. We can ask that it goes into every cell of the body, in between every cell. Invite in and ask your light, your soul, to be physically present with you at all times. Beautiful. So it is at this point where we begin to become the transformers of energy. Um, the tr because as we bring in, we become like a magnet for more of what we are. And as we become that magnet, we are also a transformer. Because, it, you know, for a while we were bringing in all the energies, everything that we are, um, past life traumas, um, unfinished business, contracts, all the stuff. But now as you stand here in your power and in your light, you are a transformer. So as you invite in all that you are, all the experiences, your light transforms it to wisdom and you grow brighter. As I've said, the deeper, the darker the experience that you have, the more light and wisdom is elicited from that experience. Beautiful. So usually we're not, um, you know, things that are like in a linear or um, a linear time, like let's say, you know, 8-8 Lion's Gate or Summer Solstice, different things like this. Um, you know, we've always seen it as simply it's just it's it's a space holder for everybody to put their attention to. 8-8's been a big one. Now, um, Brenda and I both were kind of following a, a, a gal, Anelia Benz, for a little while. She's wrote some books and does some things, but got kind of conspiracy theory for a bit so we kind of stepped out of it but um brenda just brought my attention to an email from anelia the other day and she talks about where she does manifestation classes and every year from towards that last week of july through that first week of august all the way up to august 7th about is when they do these classes now brenda sent me this email she's like oh this really resonates and she's well no she said this seems to be a truth 
And when I looked at it, it was like, wow, okay, this is absolutely perfect. What this is saying is that within this little time window right here is a perfect time to place your intentions to the universe, source, soul, you, for this next annual cycle. So there is this opening right now between, you know, just like a week ago and August 7th here, just in a couple days, when is today the 5th that we can start to place our intentions with our soul. Now, this also goes back to what Brendan and I have been doing also for a few weeks because we're part of another project um, with the Dama St. Germain and um, it's called Kioc. And it's basically this year long um, class that we join and, and co-create with. And basically in this class right now, we are choosing five things to tell the universe, or as Adamus would say, our master selves or our soul, what it is that we require to stay here at this time. If you are here watching this, you are obviously on this path, this path of amassing wisdom and light. And, um, <laughs> it's a lot of energy is flowing through through with all of us. Thank you so much for being here again. Um, so sorry, I'm just kind of lost out here in this in this nice ocean right now. Um, but as we begin to amass our wisdom and light right now, um, we're we're telling our soul selves, the universe, um, however you see and say this, as you as creator, we are simply making our intentions of the things that we require to stay here on the planet and to continue to amass our light and to just be and um, to be those light holders and emitters for all of humanity and so far beyond. So what we do is we just pick five simple things. I will tell you some of the things that I chose. My first one was clarity and I've only kind of gone through a shift here as of this last weekend um, where everything really shifted for me. I made that my number one is clarity and a lot shifted for me then. The second thing um, that I put in as my five intentions that or my five statements of the things that I require to stay here as a master on this planet right now. The second is abundance in all the ways. And I trust in that. Um, and the abundance isn't the amassing of wealth of having millions of dollars. The abundance is the allowing of everything to come in at the right moment. And so this new way of abundance is trusting that all will come as it is needed you know um and that is quite a trust the third thing that i like to put as my intention is um health and that is health in all the ways physical mental emotional spiritual everything um and then there's you know, and we try to limit it to five just so we don't make it complicated and keep it simple. Um, because, you know, this really isn't about the wording of a specific intention. This is about you in the here now making the choice. So you don't have to be specific. That's, that's the old way. It is making the choice to no longer participate in um, lack, let's say, and to allow abundance. So you're making that conscious choice. Your soul, the universe, you as creator, then hears you. And that's what we're doing right now. So we're going to hold the space for you to put in these simple things into your field to make the request that those are what you need. Now, this is really a powerful thing within this space. Um, and actually, I think we'll do this at the end. I think we have some other things that we need to do first, and that is some more of this clearing work. So since I became, you know, super clear Monday, this week was phenomenal. Um, 
you know, I, I felt like I could finally see and was, you know, kind of birthed out of this whole process that's been, you know, this last cycle, it's about a two year process for me. Um, but every day we are still getting hit with these cords. Now, the cords that I'm talking about here that we've been getting nailed with are just the normal everyday cords from like clients or people or whatever. We even found thousands of cords that went into Twisted Sage and, and you know, and we cleared that. Um, but Monday was phenomenal. Tuesday was okay, but it started to feel like there was just this squeeze. Um, it was things were just uncomfortable and I could not, you know, pinpoint or picture what that was. You know, I sat in the bath for an hour. I couldn't release. Um, Wednesday, man, Wednesday morning, flipping rough. Um, one of the roughest times here in a while, uh, Wednesday morning. And so much stuff was coming up. Um, the work that Brenda did for us Monday, which we're going to do here in a meditation is going deep to our core and releasing. And then also we're going to find those higher cords. So some of these cords that I found on Wednesday, um, I just simply put my awareness. It was like two or three feet above my head where the, these two cords were coming in. As soon as I saw them and just allowed the release of them, because you know, for some reason right now, we're still having to have to witness these. So I witnessed these cords. And then as soon as I seen them, they just released. And it's like everything lifted. Um, and then I was able to function and able to release the other cords that I had that were just to like people, family, clients, things like that. Um, so what Brenda is saying too, is that she's having to clear herself, you know, every morning and every night and any time during the day. And my advice is, is that if you keep yourself clear all the time, otherwise, as you start to get bogged down and you get into that space, it's like, you know, you get into that, I don't give a shit space and you just, you just like, well, I'll just sit here and suffer. You know, it's just because that's what we're used to for eons for all incarnation. So releasing that, um, releasing that before it bogs you down. So every morning when you wake up, take a minute, go into the heart space, talk to your soul, talk to your soul. Brenda tells me, ask your soul questions, ask your soul mundane questions. When you are in this space and in this field, talk to your soul, express your needs, express your desires. Um, you know, the more that you communicate and the more that you invite in, the more that you are more. Um, so let's see, we'll just jump through a quick um, meditation here to hold space for you to go to the core of your being to help release. Um, and, you know, when we hold space and walk through this, pretty much find your own ways that work for you because the ways that I do my release is different from the ways that Brenda does her release and it's different from how anybody else does their release. Um, for me, I feel like as I amass my light and consciousness with intention and with breath and just become right here, like we just did, I like to call it divine awareness. It's what we do with the, um, with the wisdom wands as well, because with the wisdom wands where we've done those meditations, like the one from December 5th, I think it was where basically we create that cocoon of light around us and we amass our light. And then when you have your light right here and you put your awareness onto a situation, that is exactly what I've talked about with the wisdom wand, where you are in that space and you have divine awareness. And those are just my words. You can, you know, Brenda will call it your, your light. Um, so that when a situation comes up, you simply put your awareness on it without trying to change it, without judgment. And then things start to shift. It's about allowing. So you have this, this thing and it's right here. Instead of fighting it, first, allow it to be there. See it. You know, I see you. I feel you. 
I release you. And then it goes. That's how things shift. It doesn't shift by fighting it. And that is anything in your reality and creation. So that's what I like to call divine awareness is when you are in that space and you are putting your awareness, your light onto whatever that is. So that's what we're going to do right now is we are going to go to your core, bringing your awareness there and just allowing the release. So here we go in this safe, sacred space. Again, supported by earth, supported by creation. You are just that beautiful, tangible light. Now go within your being, go deep within. To me, it's almost like I go down into this deep well, this deep, dark well that is me. And it's like, that's where I find like these little cords and just dense energies. Now, again, you are a powerful, powerful transformer. It is your divine light, your divine awareness that shifts and changes all of these things. So as you go deep to your core, don't be scared of anything dark. Because you are a powerful transformer. As your awareness comes onto these things, they shift. It all turns to wisdom, to light, to consciousness. Beautiful. Just reaching to your core and allowing your light to go in. Okay, so now then just kind of bring your awareness throughout your entire field and just you know, if you see or feel anything that doesn't really resonate with that piece, put your awareness onto it. See it, allow it to be, and allow it to shift at the same time. And that just, it fractals out. It goes out through all time and all that you are. Because again, we're doing this work for our own self. But our own self is so big. Okay. So. Um. Gosh, so yeah, the statements of those five things that you require to be here and to be a master at this time and to hold space. This truly is the moment that we signed up and came here for. Is here forward to hold the space because we've stepped into a new energy of creation. We are no longer in, in the old and all of the rules no longer, no longer apply. We are no longer playing in the old field. So that is it is releasing all of the old. And it's not only just releasing, it is alchemizing because as you amass this wisdom and light and you put your divine awareness onto any of the old energies, the old patterns, it alchemizes. So instead of transmuting, it turns it into a new energy. And this new energy is here to serve you. It is, it is a part of your creation palette. So, 
for an example, um, let's see, the other day I had a really funky pain on my foot. And so I just ran energy to it and it moved. And when it moves, you know, it's energy. So I went into that space to be that divine awareness. And I simply put my divine awareness onto that dense energy, that pain in my leg, because it moved from my foot to my leg. And it was my intention of changing that energy to something new, to new energy that would serve me, that would serve me in the highest and best good. And the highest and best good anymore, because it used to be sometimes the highest and best good was always some really funky path because, well, maybe not funky, but a lot of times the highest and best good could be painful, you know, those paths. So I really truly feel that anymore the highest and best good is, is a lot more um, peaceful. It's, it's, um, I just trust that the universe now is bringing me more of my creative abilities and more of the beauty and joy in the world instead of having to be this transmuter working in the dense energies, clearing, releasing, doing all of that, experiencing it and everything else. I really truly feel that we are in this new space to where, um, you know, when you're allowing everything to come in to serve you, that it is doing so in such a higher way, um, that we're not having to go through all of the weird soul lessons, all the harmonic weird stuff, you know, all that stuff. I just feel like we are finally stepping up beyond that whole mess. Um, so I hope that you guys have kind of pulled a little bits of things out of this today. Like I say, I did not step in here with, um, any certain plan today. Um, I just basically wanted to share those few things of that right now is an important time um, to be putting your intentions into your field of, of what you need. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. If you haven't already, of just those things that you require for me, clarity, health, abundance, joy. I'm still trying to figure out my fifth one, which I need to in the next couple days here. And in all actuality, as we reflect, I really do know what that is. As I say, you don't have to be specific and put it into any specific words because your soul knows you don't have to use complete sentences and concepts with your soul. Beautiful. Um, so anybody has any questions or feedback here would love to hear some things and see where we go from here or if we're just complete so I'm just reading um, comments over here on the chat side So, um, so yeah, my, my advice is simply, um, try to go to that space. It's been really interesting for me here the past few days in that when I stop during the day and I just consciously bring in my light, I mean, it just makes my body shimmy and shake. And I, it's like, I can just feel that just such um, vibration, such uh, just peace. Um, it's really huge upbringing in your light and then talking with your soul. Um, you know, 
you can still talk with your guides, your angels, things like that. And that's perfect and wonderful. Um, but your soul is the most powerful thing in creation, especially within your creation. And it totally has your back and is in alignment with the highest and best. Because right now we truly are on our soul's path. We are doing what we came here to do. And you don't really have to do anything except for allow in your light. Um, we don't have to go out and be light warriors and try to fix things and things like that. That's, that's old paradigm. When you fight the dark, you're creating the dark. So allow, accept, transform, alchemize the dark. Alchemize what it is that does not serve you, that does not serve, you know, joy, peace, creation, abundance, health, wealth. Um, and, you know, in that's a tough one to say too, because we don't really want to be a judge. You know, we don't want to judge that stuff. So <clears throat> when you are in your humanness and in your head and all discombobulated, that's not the point to come from to, to be a judge of what it is that you want to work on because when you go into the heart space and you step in, a lot of those things just are no longer in your awareness. You know, they're just not, they're not for you to work on. So when you are working on something, be sure that you come here first. That is your discernment right there is being in this space and in the heart is discernment. Because then you as the transformer, um, you as the human awareness consciousness, as the transformer working with your soul, your soul will bring through whatever it is into your awareness that you'll need within this space that, that it would like for you to put your divine awareness on to alchemize. So you don't have to go out looking for things to alchemize or to do. It will come to you. Because the rest of it's just not, not real when you're in this space. Um, no, it's not the right words, but anyway. Okay. Um, let's see. I think that is, um, can you please share more about the activations of the pyramids on the planet with the lion's gate? No, I don't really get into the lion's gate or a lot of the activations of pyramids and things like that, because so much of that is simply distraction. <laughs> so much distraction. <sighs> and that's where I say about the discernment. <laughs> the discernment when you are in alignment with your soul, <sighs> then you are following your soul's path. You're not going down rabbit holes of the human perception and the humans, the little humans desires. And um, because there's in, in the metaphysical world and the new age world and all that stuff, you know, there's so many distractions, you know, you can get caught up in astrology and astrology is it, or you can get caught up in your chakras and, oh, everything's the chakras or, um, you know, all these things that we can kind of get caught up in instead of just seeing them as a step in our evolution as a tool in our toolbox put it in the mix and move on you know it's same with like reiki i'm a reiki master but i don't use reiki but it's in it's in my field it's in the toolbox it's a part of the wisdom because it's all about wisdom right now. Um, 
and that's part of our you know evolution too is that we're not we're stepping out of the whole processing thinking emotional in the ways that we've always been and and work throughout the world because as we are amassing our wisdom and our light that wisdom's not accessible through the mind that wisdom is accessible through the heart through your field through your knowing um and so that's where you know we need to attune to it's not the mental but to our heart our wisdom and our soul all right you guys i think that is all for today so i do hope that uh you guys all have a phenomenal next couple of days as you keep working on these intentions in your field and finding those things that that you request your soul to work on or that your soul to bring to you you know health wealth wisdom all the good stuff all right take care you guys and we'll probably see you next week all right thanks for being here <laughs>